Hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. Something slightly different in this week's video. I was actually inspired by Mr. Carrington. Um, he had his IKEA fave video up recently and I was like, actually, it was really enjoyable to watch. And I was like, I have some IKEA face too um, that I think you guys will like and that you can tweak to your style of decor. So whether you're into that farmhouse style or I think I would call my style more cottage style, but I've done a lot of IKEA hacks throughout the year. So I thought I would pick 10 of my faves. And a quick disclaimer, I am not telling you to go out to IKEA at all. I'm just giving you some inspiration. And one of the good things about being in lockdown at the moment is you have more time to plan a room and plan a space. So I, in the past, probably would have been very quick to be like, yes, I want the item and I could go and get it same day, within a few hours, and that's gone now. So always I'm an advocate of recycling and reusing everything I have. And then there's times where, you know, you might be able to do that. So a cheeky Ikea trip is on the cards, but obviously when it is safe to do so. And then obviously if you're watching this in the future and lockdown has been lifted, yeah, I'd love to know <laughs> what does the future look like? <laughs> So with all that said, let me get into my first item, which is one that I'm probably using the most because we've been getting glorious weather. So I am going to start with my first fave, which is the IKEA, I'm going to say Tarno Bistro Set. So I have this about three years, three summers. I never take it in outside of the rain. And I recently gave it a makeover because it had gotten absolutely bashed. I gave it a power washing, I gave it a good scrub, I whitewashed it, sealed it with some yacht varnish and it is brand new, has a new lease of life. I do think I'm going to try and sew cushion pads for it. I did see on the IKEA website that you can purchase the cushion pads but I think I can recycle old cushion pads and some fabric that I have. So let me know if that is a video you would be interested in. So next up, I actually don't have this doll bed anymore because I did get to give it to my niece. But if you are looking for a cute IKEA hack, the duck tig, duck tig doll bed. I am going to ruin these Swedish words today. The duck tig doll bed is adorable, so easy to hack. Um, the base of this had broke. The base is very flimsy in this. That's the one like negative I will say. So I replaced the wooden base with some scrap wood and I stitched a blanket and a little cushion for it. And Blondie did get to use this before giving it to my niece. But Blondie hasn't missed it and my niece is loving it. And if it's her dolly, it's perfect. If you want to sew the blanket, I think the measurements was I'm not gonna guess, was it 20 by 20 inches? But all of the details on how to make the little blanket for the Ikea doll's bed, I'll pop in the description and I'll put a link to that video. Next fave is a rug and I am only starting to get into using rugs in the house. I have to be careful because cats and their claws love rugs. <laughs> so I recently, in last week's video actually, you would have seen me do up the guest bedroom and I got the Ikea, what's the name? Hanum rug. That's not too hard to pronounce, I have my notes here. The Ikea Tannum rug. What I love about this is, I'm sorry, it's the sunniest day in Ireland, so there's beeps, horns, and lawnmowers in the background. Just ignore that. But what I like about this rug is, it can be used outdoors, it can be used indoors, and it's very neutral. I like the texture, it's nice and thick. It took away the echo that was in the spare bedroom as well. And I, I like that it can be any style. Boho, farmhouse, cottage, it's just a nice neutral. So I'm definitely gonna get into rugs a little bit more. Um, I just have to see how Blondie and Pepsi and their claws take to the rugs. Next up is my absolute fave hack. And I think it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, the Ikea clack tray. I tiled it. Um, I added these little tiles and I did this, God, this is an old video when I was looking back for this video. Well, basically I simply added tiles, not very well, like, but 
sin. I had these cute little floral tiles, added them in. I actually Gorilla glued them in and then I just grouted in between. And I love this. This is the cutest little tray. Still love it. It's very cottagey, very cute. It is quite heavy. It's nice as like on the centre of the table. And you can pop it into the garden now while the weather is really nice. And I absolutely love it and it's held up well. Another one of my absolute faves is the IKEA Duck Dig Play Kitchen. You guys Put a little emoji in the comments if you are an OG and you remember this hack. So this IKEA kitchen makeover, I think is my most traffic, it's my most viewed item on my website. Um, the amount of like website traffic it gets through Pinterest is insane. So that little kitchen, I actually did that, my niece and nephew were too young at the time. And I did that for my friends, the niece and nieces. And it was just so fun to do. I loved the colour, the marble, the sink. It was like what I would love in an adult kitchen, in a kid's kitchen. Um, my niece has a small little kitchen she got for Christmas. Um, that IKEA kitchen is quite big, but they have a new version and it's smaller and it's only 50 euro, I think. Um, you can have a look on the website, but I was like, ooh, cute. But my niece and nephew, um, one of the downsides of having an auntie who upcycles everything for them is they have no space. <laughs> So, I can only do small presents now. My next fave is the Finvard table legs. I love these table legs. Now, I customised mine and i done a scaffold board desk because I don't like desks to feel like office. Especially when you're creating, like whether it's painting, sewing, anything like non paper and electric. I want it to be rough ready. But these IKEA Finvard legs, they're like real artist studio legs. I love them. The storage on the bottom, I can pop my sewing machine. Absolutely love these legs and you can raise them. Um, they are my absolutely fa faves. I did have the other IKEA treadle legs, um, which I replaced and I gave the treadle legs to work for a desk. But these Finvard ones, I absolutely love them. Um, if you are looking to do a little upcycle desk area and you're into like creativity and art, I really recommend these because they raise and lower and I just think they look very cute too. Next up is a recent purchase. I'm obsessed with it. The Lurvik bed. You would have seen this in the guest bedroom makeover. The value, it was 115 euros for the bed frame, the slats, I got the cheapest slats because it's just a guest bedroom and the bar, everything for the middle. I just thought that was such good value for a bed frame. I was worried that it was going to be squeaky, but I followed the instructions and I tightened all the bolts. There is not a squeak out of it so far, touch wood. It looks so cottage, shabby chic. It's like so cute. It fit the old mattress as well. So um, I know with Ikea and beddings, I'm quite nervous because the sizes don't match European sizes and things, but the bed fit, so a small double is what I got and I absolutely love it. So my next fave is the baskets in Ikea. I'm a bit obsessed with baskets at the moment because they're very like French farmhouse. I remember when me and Karen were in the south of France like two years ago, all of the little villages and towns Everyone had these gorgeous shopping baskets. Like you would never see like plastic bags. It was beautiful shopping baskets, all the stalls. I've like such cute pictures. And there would just be all these baskets. Um, absolutely love them, obsessed with them. Love the kind of darker wood ones. So I have some baskets in the craft room in my Ikea, is it a mom? When it's a tall thing. Um, great for storing like wool, paint, supplies. Um, and then I also have them in the guest bedroom. Love them. Great in the kitchen as well. So big fan of them. My next one is probably one from my creatives as well, whether you're into stationary art. I absolutely love the IKEA pegboard. Now mine is a bit messy at the moment. <laughs> it gets a bit confused. It goes from holding a hammer to holding zippers. It's eclectic. <laughs> I absolutely love the pegboard because you can customise the hooks and I am raging I didn't get a bigger one but you can buy a second one and just let like stack them so I think that's something I might do because I love that I can just I'm very visual and I need to see what I have and with certain things like my fabric scissors I like to just be able to bang pull it off the wall do my business 
and put it back. So big fan of the pegboard. Last but not least is these peg. Would you call it a I'm going to call it a coat rack. I'll put the actual Ikea name for it here. And what I love about this is my obsession with baskets and basket bags and hanging things and displaying your items as decor. Um, I got this hook in, I think it's new. It could be new, but I got it in my recent Ikea order. And I love that you can hang things off it. Like, it's functional, so you can hang jackets or whatever, but I hang jackets in, like, a little cubby. Um, so the hook has the cute baskets um, or basket bags. I hung my camera, a few little things like that. So I love that because you can use your actual everyday items as pieces of decor that you can display. It's also neutral. I think you can get it in another color, but it's easy to paint. Okay, the bonus one, and I, cause I just remembered, I'm obsessed with the rugs in Ikea, but turning them into pillows. So that's a little hack for you. I'll link to the video. I had, I made these like three years ago. I think it was the first time I had a little garden party. And I turned the Ikea rugs, um, I backed them with some like calico, like fabric, popped in a pillow, stitched them up. They're still going strong. I've been pulling them out and especially with the sunshine being so good, they are so comfy. I had them on my Instagram stories um, and I had lots of people saying, oh my God, where'd you get them? big pillows for the garden. And I was like, they are a, like six or seven euro rug turned into little bean bag pillows. Make them yourself. So that is my Ikea faves. Obviously a lot of stuff in my house is secondhand and recycled. And I still kind of have that as my preferred method for like getting furniture and furnishing my home. But there is like times where you might, you know, and maybe more in your budget to get something from Ikea or one of the flat pack kind of shops and um, so kind of just do what kind of works for you but I just wanted to show how you can use some of the items in your home if you are like me and you kind of recycle all pieces of furniture that sometimes the new pieces they have their place too. Let me know what is your favourite Ikea piece or have you hacked something from Ikea? Actually I should have included the first stool um, I'll put put that link in the description. I'm fine. I'm thinking the things as I'm going. Um, I I upcycled the fur the stool the 650 stool into a fur stool with a fur cushion. Um, but I gave that to my friend who I worked with. Her daughter. I wondered if she still have that stool. Um, I gave that away because I didn't have space for it in my home. But I'll link to that one as well. So that's me for this week. I'm going now. Um, wherever you are, stay safe. If the restrictions are starting to kind of be lifted in your area, just stay safe. Do you. Do what feels good. Cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.